Hey guys, it's May here, and today I'm bringing you my sniping class setup for MW3. Now, as you can see, I've got all 10 classes here, as I am prestige number 10. Now, as you can also see, I've got all my classes, they're named after teams that I've enjoyed either now or in the past, and I think it makes it a bit more interesting rather than class 1, class 2, class 3, but yeah, anyway, it makes it a bit more interesting. Right, first up in slot 1, in the slot phase clan, I've got my red gun sniping class, I've got P90 rapid fire with extended mags, and I've got USP45 akimbo. Perks I run are Stream Conditioning Pro, Quick Draw Pro, and Steady Aim Pro. I use these combination of guns and perks for red gun sniping because and I can do you call it red gun sniping, red gun aim or whatever. I uh, like the speed for the extreme conditioning. I like being able to get places quicker. Uh, I use Steady Aim Pro because uh, in a uh, red gun situation you're going to be running into a group of snipers or a group of people you're going to want to be able to uh, hip fire and I use the P90 because of its high rate of fire and it's <coughs> shit dropped my bloody controller and it's a uh, large magazine size linked with rapid fire and extended mags make it an absolute beast a very good weapon and not that great over long distance so that's why you're going to be wanting to use extreme conditioning to be able to get close to your target. Next up in slot 2 or source sniping, I've got my Barrett class. I've got Barrett 50 Kyle extended mags with that looks like. What does that? What is that? Is that speed? Yeah, I think it's speed. With a gold, I then have uh, Magnum Akimbo's throwing live tacks. Then the normal uh, slight hand, quick draw, and I use marksman um, when I'm sniping because I find that it's very easy to pick off targets at a long range, and especially on drop zone, uh, you're going to be looking to find and pick off targets through the red smoke, which is often very difficult without marksman. Next in Obey Alliance spot, I've got my shotgun class. I've got, I personally use the USAS 12 uh, for its incredible overpoweredness it's got incredible range and power and I use um, extended mags on that with what does that look like damage yep so they do ex even more damage and it's incredibly overpowered used with the uh, mp9 silencer so if you do run out you've got kind of a, a submachine gun packed on your ass and I use c4 I use Extreme Conditioning Pro, Assassin Pro, and Study Aim Pro. Now, when I mainly use this class would be if uh, to annoy people. To be honest, this class is built to annoy people, and it certainly does that. Right. In slot four, I've got my AS50 class with extended mags and kick, with Magnum, Kimbo, Tax, Throwing Knife, Slight Hand. Quick draw pro, and I use steady aim pro on this class. I uh, use steady aim because um, I don't always get on with this weapon too well, and I find that when I am gonna snipe with it, I have to uh, black scope, and uh, steady aim helps with that. And it can either be incredibly accurate or it can't be, but personally, I hate the sight on the weapon, which makes it very difficult for me to use. People either love it or they hate it, and to be honest, I hate it so. I use it with that. Next up, we've got a MSR class. Um, this is my MSR class with uh, extended mags and impact, but this is the class that I have that run a stinger. Uh, Spratty was once known for running this, so but it's quite a good idea to have this class. Uh, I use Semtexes and Tactical Insurgents. I don't use C4s much. Um, because they're annoying but and also if you're going to want to clear out an area you're going to want to use a Semtex because it's quick to load out with the normal Slight Hand Pro Quick Draw Pro and Marksman Pro next up I've got the exact same class as the other one apart from in my secondary I've got a 
single 44 Magnum. This is my char uh, class of choice which I normally use. Um, this is normally the class that I'll be always using and it's my favourite. Next up we've got my MK14 class. My, um, this is a class built for headshots. It's got the red dot sight with rapid fire for the increased rate of fire on the MK14 as it's a one shot kill to the head. Secondary I've got my USP attack knife that is often a useful weapon for if you do spray crap out of someone and you run out of bullets you can then whip that out and knife them. Then I've got portable radar and Semtex slight hand quick draw and marksman pro. Next up we've got a Barrett and MSR overkill class with uh, extended mags and kick on both of them with concussion grenades and frown knives I've got slight hand overkill and marksman this is for switch feeds I don't often use it very much because I find it very quite difficult to snipe without um, quick draw so this won't normally be my, one of my favourite choices next up I've got my L11 class with extended mags kick and secondary I've got USP and USP Akimbo with C4 attacks, Slight Hand Pro, Quick Draw Pro and Marksman Pro. Now this class I will use for reload feeds, I quite like going for them and they look really really nice with the L11. And then finally I have got my uh, second overkill class which is MSR, um, Extended Mags with Impact and the ACR with Kick with Fry Knife, Pop Radar, Slight Hand Pro, Overkill Pro and Dead Silence Pro. This class would be my trick shotting class for or just class in general for like things like face off search. But this would be the normal ch class choice for if I would l like to go online trick shotting or something like that. But anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed seeing my class setup for MW3 and if you wish to see anything else like a different game I may I'm gonna do a trick shot in combination class for MW2 but if you request anything else please just leave it in the comment section below but anyway guys please like comment and subscribe but thanks for watching